What's going on? It's your boy Josh Bev, and today we're doing a little solo overnight. Run away from that, get away. Suburban stealth. Solo. All right, so I just called the Uber and he's on his way and we're gonna head out to a lake. Uh, you're not allowed to camp there, but I don't care. As long as we're stealthy, uh, we'll be all right. So uh, yeah, I can't take my car there because you're not allowed to park there overnight. So the Uber's on his way and uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun tonight. I'll see you there. Alright, I uh, just got dropped off by the Uber. I'm at the uh, lake. Now I just gotta go to this spot. Now I've been to this spot uh, like a handful of times already, so I know it's a good place to do a little stealth. I want to get a good shot of the lake. Oh, very beautiful here. That's going to be my view tonight. I've uh, been here plenty of times, like I said, out, out on the lake though. It's not that big of a lake. I think it's only like two and a half miles long. But I think my, uh, my spot's coming up. I'm just gonna venture off into the thick of it. No one's around. Really didn't anticipate it to be this uh, muddy. You never know, something's always gonna happen. You gotta prepare for everything. Murphy's Law, it's true. No matter what it is, something's gonna get you that you're unprepared for. I came across this last time, some old structure.
Alright, I finally found the spot. It's pretty ideal for next to the water so I can get a nice breeze uh, tonight because I think it's going down to like 67. That's not too bad. And this is pretty open as you can see. Full 360. And the ground's nice and uh, it's not too bushy. So I can, you know, cook my dinner tonight. Maybe get a little fire. And there's no way anybody could see me in here unless they're on the water. Because there's like bushes that are like 10 feet high all around me. No one's going to see me at all. So I'll wait until around 8 o'clock to make a fire. Right when the sun's about to go down, I'll have everything ready. Because that's when no one's allowed to be in here. So, should be pretty good. But, uh, alright, let's set up. Alright, well, as you can see, it was just downpouring when I was trying to set this shelter up. Of course, right? What did I tell you about Burpee's Law? Now it's starting to settle down. Thank God. And it got a little wet. So hopefully, like, the sun will come out and it will heat up a bit and dry this up a bit. Um, my bag got pretty soaked. I got a sleeping bag wrapped up in the stuff sack, so hopefully, you know, that's not too wet. So I can lay on that tonight and not be uncomfortable. Oh man, what did I tell you about Murphy's Law? Or just pay attention to the clouds. Alright, I'm going to uh, finish securing everything everything down and uh, making sure everything's good out here. Then I'll get back to you. Alright, I'm going to... Hopefully... Uh, the rain has stopped, and then I'm going to bring my hammock out and try to air dry it as best I can. And uh, until then, I'm going to eat a little snack. Today's snack goes to field trip cracker pepper all natural turkey jerky. I got a couple lard bars, cashew cookies.
need a little bit of sun in action. I guess next time if that happens, I should have balled my hammock up and threw it in the bag as fast as I could so I didn't get wet and then worry about the shelter. I just had it in my mind where the hammock was set up. Now let's get the tarp over it. But it was downpouring on it. So next time if that ever happens, I'm going to ball that hammock up as fast as I can. And then work on the tarp. Alright, I'm going to eat this snack. And then I'm going to get back to you because I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me eat food. Alright, so anywhere I go, I'm not going to get any direct sunlight. And everything's wet, so I'm not trying to get too wet walking, finding a nice dry place. So this is kind of open, so I mean, this thing's pretty wet. I'm not trying to sleep in this tonight, so I'm going to try to just air it out for 10 minutes or something. I think this is actually working. It used to be like multicolored, like dry and wet, and now it's all one color. So if I keep at this for a little more, hopefully it'll be a little, a little more dry than what it was. Sorry about the uh, foggy lens. It's a bit moist in here. But anyway, we've got camp set up, as you can see. Man, it is real foggy. Sorry, guys. I'll try to get a better angle. So I got the tarp um, spread out pretty wide. I checked the weather. And it's only a 15% chance of rain, so I don't really need it too much of a TP. But I got the, uh, the hammock stretched out right now, so hopefully that uh, dries up a bit. I'm going to get in there for as long as I can, just so it can dry up. And then, um, good thing I opened this up real far. Because my bag hanging on this is now covered. It's got a little bit of coverage. So as long as you persist, things will get better. I thought I wasn't going to have a dry place to hang my bag. And then, you know, luckily I thought let's open the tarp up more to get some more airflow in. And then by me doing that, I was able to hang my uh, bag in a nice dry spot. And I can hang all my gear up, all under coverage, and uh, then I got the hammock spread apart, so things are looking good. Looking real good. Yeah. Yeah, so, Hopefully tonight won't rain too much and I uh, get a nice wind flow underneath and I can look up look up at the uh, the lake tonight. And I thought I got here at a good time. Uh, I didn't think anybody else would be on the lake because this park closes in uh, 10 minutes and there's people still on the lake. And, then, and someone just paddled by me. They had to be so curious and look under here. And uh, I think she and her husband both saw saw me. So let's pray that everything goes smooth and they don't really care. And uh, they just let me be. And my excuse is if someone asked me, I would say I'm just packing up. I'm just going on a little hammock hike today. I'm going home. But I'm just going to wait until it gets dark out. And uh, <clears throat> then I'm going to cook up some dinner.
Tonight's dinner goes to Backpacker's Pantry, Chana Masala. I think that's how you say it. Perfect, just enough. P -p 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 Perfect. The little sparker in this butane stove. I don't know what to call it. I don't think it's a butane stove. These things. The sparker doesn't work, so I gotta use my own lighter. What the fuck was that? It's like a dying goose out there. Of course, when it rained, it got all wet. That's a deer. If it doesn't come near me tonight, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I'm scared shitless. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm out in the woods, I always piss a deer off or something. So I was blowing out the lighter, and I think he thought I was taunting him. I started hearing him taunt back. So I'm just going to chill. Hopefully, he just doesn't come over here, and I'm going to eat my dinner. All right, my water is boiling up. I was always told by my dad that. You always want to let a deer like know you're there by coughing real loud, or you don't want to scare it. It's the worst thing that can happen. So let me give it a good old cough. <clears throat> <coughs> Hopefully that worked. I don't get boxed out by a deer tonight. Thanks, Dad. Very peaceful out here. Got a lot of time to yourself. Let that water boil a little bit longer. Gonna wait about 15 20 minutes and I can eat this. Alright, I hope you can see me. I don't like this light because I'm blowing my spot up. A little better. Alright, hopefully you can see me. Like I said, I don't want to blow my spot up. I'm gonna eat some dinner. <laughs> right in the hammock. This is like a spicy Indian food. It's pretty good. Hear fireworks in the distance, some church bells, got the water going. Really peaceful out here. I don't think I'll be able to do a fire tonight. <clears throat> I'm afraid my spot will get blown up. Cause I'm like 20 feet in from the lake. Whatever, it's not cold. 
I like having this uh, the tarp real open like this. They have all this like wind flow, but then gives you peace of mind when you're sleeping when they're shut close on you, so you're not like thinking about what's out there. But tonight I'm sleeping with it open. Oh, I'm gonna eat this. I'm sure. Once again, you don't want to just watch me eat food. Unless you're into that. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to eat this and get back to you. Alright, you boys in the hammock. All cozied up, ready for bed. So that was pretty fun today. Uh, hopefully tonight I'll get a good night's sleep. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Peace. Good morning. I had a pretty decent sleep last night. Um... Besides the fact that I woke up to something growling at me at 3.30 in the morning. And uh, as soon as I flashed my light outside of the hammock, nothing was there. So that was kind of creepy. But besides that, it was pretty good. So I'm going to get out of this hammock and make some breakfast. Alright, today's breakfast goes out to Lord Bars and some cold brew coffee. Since I'm one of the laziest mofos out there, I ain't making shit. So I'm gonna eat this and then uh, then I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna call an Uber and go home. So what do you say giving it a like for doing the overnighter? Uh, I really enjoyed it, I hope you did too. And uh, there's going to be more coming. I'm going to do overnighters in different places, not just woods. So that's going to be pretty cool. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.